What's up, Beer Soap Crew? It's Christian Beer Soap Beards Product Review. Today, we're reviewing Honest Amish out of Pennsylvania. Let's jump into price cuts. The first thing we always do for most oils and bombs on the site, you're going to pay anywhere from $13 to $20. Not too bad of a price point if you ask me there. <clears throat> Next, let's jump into ingredients. So, on the website, I checked it out just to kind of get some knowledge for myself, and there is a laundry list of ingredients in the oils and the bombs. It's a lot to go over and honestly, I don't want to bore you guys. So let's just say this. They say it's all natural, organic, and it, they say, and I don't agree or disagree, that it's the best for your beard. Let's jump into the scents. <clears throat> so for the premium, you've got a woodsy and a spice scent. That nice little spice tinge to that natural scent is, smells great. Um, for the original or the classic, they say, it's got a natural, with a sweet woodsy scent. They really love their woodsy scents, clearly. And for the Bayou, it's a softer scent. It's got, so it's a soft sounding scent with hints of sweet woodsy tobacco. Um, it just, it smells great. That's the best way to describe it. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and put a little bit of our beard beer soaker like we always do. I've been using the premium, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in my beard today. I've been mixing it with the classic balm, and I will say those scents combined smell amazing. Go ahead and open this up. Get a little bit of oil in there, guys. And then we'll put it in your hands. And what do I always say, guys? You never want to put raw product in your beard. It's just not good for your beard, guys. Go ahead and make sure you get it down to the roots. Put it all through your beard. Good there. And let's put the balm in there. Like I said, I've been using the classic balm with the premium oil. It's a great combination, guys. Go ahead and jump into this. Go ahead and put a little bit on my hands, guys. I'm gonna get into the balm um, consistency in just a minute here. Uh, I'm not really a big fan of it, but I'll explain to you guys why. Go ahead and put it on our beard. Comb it out. Get you going for the day. Alrighty, so let's jump into the pros and cons here. Pros. I dig the packaging. It's got a cool, their cool little Honest Honest mascot there with their label. And it's a clear bottle with a black dauber. Classic looking, I think it looks really cool. And the oil's not clear. So look, to me, I'm colorblind, so it looks like it has a little bit of a brown amber scent to it, which I think is cool. Um, also, it smells great. I love the Simple Scents. Um, I, I can't say that I'm partial to Simple Scents because there are some very complex scents that I'm like, that smells great. But Honest Amish has done a great job of making sure they don't make things too crazy and it always makes your beard smell good and look great. Uh, let's jump into cons a little bit. So, I talked about the balm a little bit. <clears throat> For me, I like a balm that you just rub your fingers across like that and it, you know, goes in your beard and you don't really notice it on your fingers. This, on the other hand, is more of a butter to me, in my opinion, because you can literally stick your finger in it and it's on your hands. Put that back in my beard, actually. Uh, another con that I do have, uh, I got some soap from, from Aaron, the guy who sent it to me. And I haven't used it yet, honestly, because I haven't <clears throat> needed to change out my soap yet. And one of the soaps he sent me, the scent just is, is not my vibe. Um, it's a black licorice scent. It's called Fisherman's Licorice, and I'm just not into it. I hate the taste of black licorice, don't like the smell of it, so I probably honestly won't use it, and that's just me being 100% honest with you guys. Um, <clears throat> next, I want to talk about what I've been doing as far as like marketing for the company as well, uh, that, I, that I review or I promote. Uh, I always want to you know, have a shirt by them or a hat or something, so Aaron sent me this badass Adidas athletic type shirt from the World Beard Champion Beard Championships of 2019. Aaron's actually a World Beard Championship winner. I think that's cool, so kudos to you, man. I wish my beard was as kick-ass as yours. Uh, lastly, let's jump into the beer I'm drinking today. I am drinking a Modelo Especial. I've been drinking for a little bit, obviously. Um, it's a class Mexican, Mexican lager. I love drinking it while I'm grilling, throwing darts with friends, or just hanging out.
Tastes great. The only thing to be better with it is some carne asada tacos and some lime. Make sure you guys are going over to honestamish.com or honestamish on Instagram. Check them out, picking up some product, and figure out if you think it's the best product for your beard. Also, head on over to Beer Soak Beards product review on YouTube. Hit that like, subscribe, and little notification bell so you know when I'm coming out with my next review. Not too sure who we're reviewing next, but I will tell you this, it's going to be awesome. Have a great day, guys, and beer soak beards out.